Welcome. Xander Holt here, the primal sex expert. And today I'm going to talk about how to get hard again quickly after you ejaculate, which means shortening our refractory period and lowering our prolactin levels. Now this is part one. I'm going to make a part two as well, but I'm not going to post that onto YouTube. I'm going to, because I'm going to get more sexually explicit in that video, but I'm going to show you how to get free access to it easily at the end of this video. So don't worry about that. And plus, we're going to get into a lot of stuff just in part one. So let's start with talking about prolactin, because you might not know what that is. It's a biochemical in our body. And when we ejaculate, that prolactin increases significantly, and that's part of what makes it more difficult to get an erection after we ejaculate. We have to go through this refractory period. And depending on what kind of state of health you're in or what age you are, that refractory period can be anywhere from you know, a few minutes to hours to days. So particularly as we get older, we want to really learn how to lower that refractory period so we can get hard again and keep enjoying the sexual experience. So let's think about that word prolactin for a second. It is built from the word lactate, which means to produce milk. So when women, when they've had a baby and they're breastfeeding, their prolactin levels skyrocket, which is what allows them to lactate and produce milk to feed the baby. Well, just, what ima just imagine what having too much of that in the male body will do. In fact, you don't even have to imagine it. If you've seen guys around with man boobs, okay, that's primarily prolactin, elevated prolactin. You know, it's like growing breasts, increasing that prolactin, like breastfeeding, right? That and higher estrogen levels tend to lead to man boobs. So we want to lower prolactin for that reason too. And it's not just prolactin. There's other things involved when we want to um, overcome uh, or shorten our refractory period and get hard again quickly. But we need to start there. So when we are going into a sexual experience, one of the top things on my list to do is have enough zinc in your system. Zinc is super important, not just for testosterone, but your semen, your sperm is filled with zinc. So when you ejaculate, a lot of zinc comes out of your body. And in order for your body to recover, it needs a lot of zinc. Okay, so what I like to do is have the zinc before I even go into the bedroom. And top of the list for me is oysters. You know, I talk about oysters a lot, but that's because it's a male superfood. This is just one example. You know, the fact that you can cut your refractory period down. There's many things that oysters provide us. So if you like oysters, this is a no brainer. Have some oysters. But if you don't, a lot of guys don't, ZMA is a really good option too. Because zinc, not only will zinc lower prolactin levels, it increases testosterone and it lowers prolactin, but ZMA also contains vitamin B6 which has also been shown to lower prolactin. So having one of these before going into a sexual experience is a good idea as well. You know, give it some time, 20, 30 minutes to kick in before you go in there, if at all possible. And then, top of my list here, I mean, other than ZMA and oysters here is black ant. Because black ant is considered the top Chinese Jing herb and Jing means sexual energy. So this is like top of the top in Chinese medicine. And it's not even an herb. It really is ants. They grind up ants, they extract um, the chemicals out of the ants and they turn it into a powder. Polyrachis ant. This is the highest bioavailable source of zinc on the planet. And it has ATP, it has all kinds of trace minerals in it. This stuff is great for your erections and it's great to decrease your refractory period. So maybe having some of this before going into your sexual experience. So zinc, number one. Number two though, is vitamin E. 
Vitamin E has been shown to decrease um, prolactin levels more than just about anything else. So I really highly prefer you get it from, from foods, but you can take it from supplements if you want. But sunflower seeds, top of the list, highest in vitamin E, really good for you. Almonds, second on the list, really high in vitamin E, okay? Nuts and seeds, great for your manhood. Avocado, I have one of these just about every day if I can. Not only is it super high in vitamin E, but all kinds of great fats and stuff for your manhood and your erections. I mean, it's a super food for manhood. And then spinach. Spinach, once again, manhood superfood. These are all man manhood superfoods that you can have. But once again, high vitamin E means lower um, prolactin. But if you do take supplements make sure you're following the directions because vitamin e is a fat soluble vitamin and you can take too much of it and it can actually be toxic if you have too much of it so you're better off getting it from foods and then i'm going to talk about a couple of herbs here i'm going to go into one additional herb in uh, part two because it's a little bit more advanced but these are really powerful actually let's start here with mucuna purines okay and the reason this is so powerful is, well, for one, it's been shown to decrease uh, prolactin levels, but it also significantly increases dopamine. This has L-DOPA in it. And actually, when you, in no, sorry, yeah, when you increase dopamine, you decrease prolactin, and you also increase testosterone levels. So this is really good for that, and it's been shown to increase testosterone levels. And I'm gonna show you some additional things you can do in part two to increase dopamine, because that is also one of the um, important things when it comes to getting over that refractory period quickly and getting erect again fast. And then there's ashwagandha. So ashwagandha is um, also been shown to lower prolactin and it increases testosterone and it decreases cortisol. And once again, sleep also. Sleep is really important. I didn't mention that before, but it's one of the most powerful things when it comes to lowering prolactin levels and increasing testosterone. Now, this has only been shown to decrease prolactin by about 15%, but still that's significant, particularly if you combine it with these other things. You start stacking these things on top of each other and you're gonna notice a significant reduction in your uh, refractory period and getting hard quicker. But there's a lot of other techniques uh, that I'm going to get into part two. Like I said, they're more explicit. So in order to get those, what you want to do is go to our free Facebook group, Rock Hard for Life. There's a link posted below. Just request to join. As long as you're a male, it is a men's only group. And I'm going to have part two posted in there, which is more sexually explicit. If that kind of stuff offends you, then uh, don't even bother doing that. But if you are, I'm going to get much more into just foods and just supplements. Uh, we're gonna get into actually physical techniques that you can do and as well as mental and those type of techniques to uh, really uh, decrease that refractory period. All right, that's it for this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video. If you, if you know guys that you know would benefit from this video, please share it with them and as always, Go to our free Facebook group that I just mentioned, Rock Hard for Life, where you're going to learn much more extensively about primal sex, lasting as long as you want, and getting natural stage four rock hard erections for life. Until next time, go be a beast. <laughs>